Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Naomi. I go by the username Bunny and Fawn on Instagram threads, TikTok. I don't use Twitter anymore because it's so toxic. So I really love beauty and all things makeup, beauty, and fashion. And I really want to incorporate more fashion related things onto this YouTube channel. So today's going to be my first fashion video. Yay! Okay, I'm just gonna be talking about winter accessories that I've been loving and that I really want to try DIYing. Do I know how to sew? No, but is it my gonna let that stop me? Also, no. So, the first winter accessory that I'm so loving is the faux fur pillbox hat. I'm looking at this on Pinterest. There's definitely like different ways to do this. You could have the open top with maybe like a bow in the back. I think that is super cute. It's super dainty. Or you could do like a like a band of a certain color and then the top is a different color. I think that's also really, really cute. I feel like this is so easy to make. I purchased this blanket with the full intention that I wanted to make faux fur stuff out of it. So this is gonna be an option. The second winter accessory I'm really obsessed with right now is the faux fur trapper hat. This is kind of like the same idea as the pillbox hat, except it has the side flaps, which I think are so cute. I think it's really cute when it's oversized because I just think it looks so freaking adorable. And how cute would it be if it had like pom-poms on the end? You know how it has like, like strings and like pom-poms? That would be so freaking cute. So watch this space. <laughs> I have this faux fur jacket. This is like such a cute thing to put on instead of like a normal hoodie. I could totally see me wearing this. I'm gonna link this down below. I got it off Amazon. So can you imagine this jacket with like a faux fur bucket hat in this? <laughs> Just trust the process. Like I have a vision and I'm not gonna stop until my Pinterest boards are my reality, okay? I'm also really obsessed with the faux fur tote bag. There are like a bunch of different ways to do this. You could do like the long strap tote bag. This is the tote bag that I have in mind. For sure, I wanna make it out of cheetah print and I really want to incorporate some kind of like metal on the handle just to elevate it and make it look less like a DIY project and more like a something I bought from the store. I hate a tote bag that is just like flopping everywhere. So I had to figure out how to make a zipper closure. But I think these are so cute. I know that they were super popular in 2021. 2021 fashion trends were so freaking cute. Like I really loved the faux fur tote bags and the bucket hats, which is why I really want to make some this year. So this is like seriously trending in my world. I know you could get it for like $5 or less on Shein, but I want to have the satisfaction of learning how to sew this year. So I'm for sure gonna try to make a tote bag. Along the same lines, I want to make a little bag for going out. I have to figure out what is like the inner lining for a purse. Like is it plastic, is it foam? I'm not sure how bags are made, but I think it would be so cute to create that like inner lining so a bag could like stand by itself on the table. And with the, like a little strap, I'll probably have to like go on Amazon or Michaels for this strap. Another thing I for sure want to make are earmuffs. So I have these really cute pearl headbands I got off Amazon. I'll link these down below. They are the perfect thing for making the pearl earmuffs. And I have a white faux fur fabric. It's like slightly dirty because I use this for, to like show swatches and stuff. And I know that like earmuffs are not the warmest winter accessory, but they're just so adorable. And you gotta have like your snow bunny moment, you know? I also saw a bunch of pictures on Pinterest where they bedazzled like the earmuff side with like a brooch or something. I feel like it was a brooch, I'm not 100% sure, but I got these like really cute brooches off of Amazon. Like you can't tell me anything about how beautiful this brooch is. It's like a snowflake and can you picture it like on a white earmuff, like on the side? 
Like, I have a vision for my winter accessories, girl. I don't feel like a lot of people are doing brooches. I hear that it's gonna be really trendy for 2024, like incorporating brooches just cause it's like untapped territory and people are, you know, trying to be different. So get on the brooch wave. Start collecting your brooches now. I really wanna try to make um, like a glove cuff. I think it's a really great way to like bust through faux fur fabric. And it's like a cute way to like make your glove look like it's actually matching your hat. So I think with every pillbox hat, um, I'm gonna make like a, like something that can go around a glove. So another thing I wanna sew is I wanna sew scrunchies. And this will be a great way to like get through some fabric. I have this scrunchie right here. It has like long pieces that you can tie into a bow. So I have some really cute t-shirts that need like a little zhuzh, you know what I mean? It needs like a little like, you know, faux fur on the on the lining i have a few pictures of what i'm trying to do but it's just like things that need a little shush okay let me show you this trim i got this color is so beautiful i'm gonna link this down below in my description but i got this tone because they say that like this is like super trendy like in the fall and i know it's gonna carry on for the winter but this, I have to make something out of this. Okay, let me just like move out of the faux fur web and talk about other things that I really love for winter right now. I am so obsessed with like the crochet granny square balaclava and oversized scarves. I know how to crochet. I haven't crocheted in a while, but I think it'll be such a great way to reduce my screen time. I think it'll be really cute to have a granny square crochet scarf. I ha I really like this one by this creator. I'm not too crazy about like the balaclavas that are super tight, so I'm not gonna be doing that, but I like an oversized vibe, oversized balaclava, and maybe something like fringy on the ends. So I have my yarn stash right here. This book right here, I'm gonna link it down below is a must. It's such a good book. You can have like triangle motifs, hexagon motifs, flower motifs. I'm going to definitely use this book for my granny square inspo. So my yarn stash is kind of like out of control right now, but I have like some really great colors of yarn that I want to use. This is such soft yarn. It's a soft and shiny yarn by the brand Loops and Threads. And if I really wanted to go the colorful grandma crochet route, I have this amazing set of like little acrylic yarns. I'm gonna link this down below. It like comes in this insane set right here with um, all these colors, basically any color I could think of. And this is, the skeins are so small though, but it would be perfect for a really dope like multicolor granny square crochet scarf. Let me know if you guys want a video on that. <laughs> Another really fun, fast project to use for a crochet is the crochet bow trend that has been going around. There are so many variations for crochet bows, and I think that could be really fun to make because I am clearly such a bow girl. I think the bow trend is so adorable, so I am totally planning on making crochet bows for winter. Okay, let's talk about jewelry because I think jewelry is definitely like being super interesting right now. I think I'm really obsessed with these like clutter necklaces that have been trending. I'm gonna show up some pictures right here, but these are such cute little pieces and they're definitely like really unique and vintage looking. I don't like to mix metal, so it can't be like silver and gold charms. I also can't be like charms that are like all crazy and different, like it has to have a theme. Do I wanna do a fruits theme or Alice in Wonderland theme? That would be such a cute charm necklace. It looks really cute when it's asymmetrical. I think that's really stunning. And there are just so many like different found objects you can put in this clutter necklace. I think this one right here is my favorite one with the black and white beads. And the, the beads are like swirling through the necklace. I feel like these are gonna be super trendy in 2024. So keep your eyes peeled, know that you heard it here first. I'm also really obsessed with like the tiny seed beads and like making it into a bow. These are really cute necklaces or earrings or hair clips. So I definitely wanna make some of these. 
And then there's also this like really cool chain necklace I see with like pearls. This could be really cute. Like I can totally see myself wearing something like this on a daily. You can co incorporate like different kind of like ribbons in a necklace. Just like a mixed media necklace is super cute. I think it's going to be really trendy next year to have maximalist jewelry. Anyways, I think this is gonna be a great DIY list for winter, especially because there's just like nothing to do in the winter, but I have to be good and I have to like get a hobby. And I think my hobby is gonna be learning how to sew and reintroduce myself into crochet. And like, just like, you know, making really cute things. So if you guys are interested in keeping along with my journey, definitely subscribe down below. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Threads, and Pinterest. Everything is bunny and fawn right here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. I don't fit into your bars, beauty queens without no